Hey everyone, it's Saved by Vape, and today I'm going to be doing my first hardware review. And this is going to be on a dripper, but not just any dripper, the Lush RDA. The newest addition to the line of drippers, RDAs, by Wotofo. Wotofo has been making fantastic RDAs for the past year or so, releasing good quality, good, you know, authentics at good prices around the $30 mark, so extremely affordable. Um, so far I've tried the Freecho, great for flavor, a little bit leaky. Um, I've tried the Addy Cubed, which is just, you know, I mean, it's cool, it's square, looks good on box mods, but it also has good flavor, good clouds. And then my favorite so far, the Sapor RDA, with fantastic flavor, no spit back at all, um, deep juice well, everything. But, potentially the king of the bunch so far, the Lush. So let's go up close and see how well this thing works. All right, everybody, this is going to be up close with the Lush RDA. Uh, first thing to notice is the packaging is beautiful. Um, I've never had a problem with Wotofo packaging. I've got the uh, Sapor and the Addy Cubed, and everything is always packaged up nice and cleanly and uh, just very nice with this, you know, sort of box that you very tight you pull off. So first you're going to have, you know, uh, your O-rings, your spare parts, screws. It comes with a little multi-tool. Um, let's see, where is that at? A little multi-tool that has, we've got a Phillips head, which will be used nowhere on this RDA. Um, you've got a small Allen key, which will be used nowhere on this RDA. And then you've got a larger Allen key, which is the only one on this tool. Um, to use so I mean I guess maybe this could be used for other RDAs with small grub screws and this could be used for anything with Phillips it's just uh, you know it's interesting that they include this with an RDA that only uses one of its components um, then you're gonna have you know you're gonna have a couple little slips of paper one is telling you to uh, to make sure that you put the o-rings on before you use it which is obviously uh, obvious um, but unlike most drippers or really any other drippers that I've ever seen this one actually cumble comes without the um, Without the o-rings attached. I don't know why this is maybe it has to do with cleaning the RDA I know that I've uh, I've gotten RDAs before that seemed absolutely clean and I built them up and I could taste machine oil and As much as I cleaned it I couldn't get it away and then I took off the o-rings and there you had it more machine oil under the o-ring So if that is why they did it um, good for them other than that, I have no idea why. Um, and then the other instructions are to moisten the O-rings so that will be smoother when you use it. And you've got this little uh, authenticity uh, card or whatever. It's nice. And then you just have a card that has the uh, contents on it. Let's see if we get the focus. There we go. So yours is not going to come looking like this out of the box, obviously. I already, uh, I had mine open. Um, this chuff cap right here is going to be in this little slot. And then here you've got your 510 drip tip with a drip tip adapter. Because as you will see, this RDA does not have a standard 510 on it. Um, but this drip, drip tip is actually pretty cool. I think this is some sort of spitback prevention. Um, it's conical. It's much smaller at the bottom than it is at the top. Um, and I think that's so that, you know, you don't get any sort of splash that you might get with a really wide bore tip. But nice piece here. And then lastly, we have the dripper itself. Like I said, like other Wotofo products, when I got it, it was beautifully clean. We've got this nice, I don't know if you, yeah, there you go, it's green. Green engraving on the bottom or laser etching or whatever that is. A uh, 510 pin. I'm not sure if that's adjustable. Let's see. Get a screwdriver here. Come on now. There we go. Let's see if this is adjustable. It's not moving easily. I'm not going to force it. So uh, I'll leave that to you to try or to not. Um, but as you can see on here, we've got these nine or six airflow holes and then another six here. And what's unique about this, this might remind you of the Mutation X, but unlike the Mutation X, um, these ones are drilled at an angle, so you'll see these first two are drilled straight, and then these are at an angle, and then these are at more of an angle, and you can sort of see that um, when you turn it like that. 
Um, up here you've got your airflow control, or at least where you can, you know, turn it to change the airflow. All right, now let's actually look at the insides of this. So I've got a pretty simple um, Clapton build on here. It's just four wraps, uh, 26 gauge core, there we go. 26 gauge core with 28 around the outside. Um, the juice well is about eight millimeters deep. I mean, it's huge, as you can see. This thing holds a nice amount of juice. You've got really solid grub screws, uh, four post design, or three with the middle one having two holes. Um, nice big post holes. These, uh, let's see if I can get this to show you. Um, you can see the Clapton wire going in there has uh, plenty of plenty of space. I could fit, you know, double to triple this thickness in there. So pretty damn nice. I think they're two millimeters. Um, but yeah, so like I said, these O-rings, when you get it, will not be installed. So you have to install them yourself, and they recommend taking a little bit of juice, rubbing it on the outside of that, so that this part can go on more easily. And as you can see, the tolerance is very nice. Not too loose, but then a nice, solid click when you close it, and I like that a lot. Um, now we look at the actual airflow control itself. You can obviously see right down into the deck so you know you can either take this whole portion off when you're dripping or just drip straight through the chuff um, one mistake I made is that I did not lubricate this piece um, when putting it in so this is pretty much stuck in here um, I didn't want to snap it and I didn't want to force it out there's not even really a uh, lip to get at it it's uh, it's pretty much in there but that's all right um, so you'll notice on here you got sort of two forms of airflow. You've got this 90 degree angle, and then you've got this slanted, you know, 45-ish degree angle. So basically what that allows you to do, if you use the 45 degree, you'll be able to close the airflow starting from the top. Let's see if I can get that on camera. There we go. Yep, you can see it's starting from that top row going down to the bottom and then if you keep turning or let's see so now if you start at the square here it's going to cut it off starting from the sides so you can basically adjust this airflow any way you want you know if you want to go more above your coil for some reason or more below it you can use that slant and if you want to cut it off from the side and just really tone down to get a tighter draw then you can use that 90 degree angle piece uh, for the most part, I've been using it wide open because I feel like the draw on it is perfect, especially for this build running at higher wattages. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the up and close. Uh, let's see how it vapes. All right, now that you see how it fits together and what you get in the package, now let's see how it actually vapes. Um, today I've got uh, obviously the same build that was on a minute ago. Um, it's a four wrap Clapton dual coil with a 26 gauge core and a 28 gauge clapped in around the outside of that. Um, right now I'm aiming at to 0.24. I'm gonna be vaping at 90 watts, 4.6 volts with the airflow wide, wide open. Awesome, 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 awesome. Right off the bat, the flavor definitely rivals the Sapor. Um, right in line with it, very, very comparable. I haven't vaped them back and forth yet, but um, the Sapor is what I've been using nonstop, so I have a pretty good feel of it, and I can say that this one's got comparable, if not slightly better flavor. Definitely has more airflow, definitely puts out bigger clouds. Um, Juice Well is a little bit deeper on there, and that's, that's awesome. Um, holds a ton of juice. I've been putting around 15 to 20 drops in it. Um, you could probably put a little more. Um, with this particular build, I haven't had any trouble with spit back, you know, juice in your mouth or um, anything of the sort. Um, obviously, the clouds and the flavor and everything you get is going to be depend on what you, what actual coil you put on the dripper. Um, but it seems that it'll be able to take pretty much almost anything you put in it. Uh, before this video, I put in some um, some six wrap 
Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Fuck this bitch. Uh, yeah, whatever. Six rep uh, fused Claptons with 24 gauge cores, two 24 gauge with uh, 32 around the outside. Um, it didn't have any trouble, like, I don't know, fatness wise, but they were a little long, and since that wire is just so, so, so uh, tough, so solid, um, it wasn't easy to center the coil, and because of that, I got it to fit, but I couldn't really adjust the airflow because once I closed it off, the metal would touch the coil, and that's bad, obviously. Um, they would cause shorts, and it just, you know, the flavor was good, the clouds were good, but with that particular build, I did get some spit back. So again, it really depends on what you put on there. Any dripper is going to give you spit back if you build it wrong or build it not according to really what the dripper is designed for. Um, but with simple Clapton's, uh, this is great, and I'm sure that more advanced builders that want to do some intense things and are more good at you know centering their builds and stuff like that, it would work perfectly fine on this. Um, but I got this from 101vape.com. Um, I did pay for it. Sorry, I'm a little unprepared. Let me open this up real quick so I can tell you the, uh, the details. Alright, yeah, so the Lush RDA right now on their website is $25.99. Um, the shipping, I believe, was 2 or $3, really cheap. I got this for under, I think it was $2, because, yeah, I got it for $27.99 after shipping. I ordered it on a Thursday or Friday, and it came today, which is Tuesday. Pretty damn good, nice and quick. They're based out of the U.S., so, you know, anyone in the U.S. shouldn't have too many problems with their shipping. Um, but right now, the colors they're offering are black, white, stainless steel, robin egg blue, um, red splatter on white, and blue splatter on black. So there's a lot of options, and I know this one also comes in like a dark blue, um, like a lime green, uh, green splatter on black, a, a couple other options. Um, but these are the ones that 101 Vape has, and so far from what I've seen, 101 Vape has the best price. So I'll put a link below to where you can get this. Um, but I think this dripper is going to appeal to a lot of people. Great flavor, great clouds, um, lots of airflow options, really easy to build on, nice grub screws, deep juice well, nice o-ring tolerances, just all in all it's a great dripper. Alright, until next time, thanks guys.